A Home for Salty, written by Stephanie Stuve Bodine, illustrated by Diane Adams, presented by San Francisco Bay National Wildlife Refuge Complex, read by Jeannie Moore, Elizabeth, Abigail, and Laurel. Hi, my name is Jeannie, and I am joined today with my daughters, Elizabeth, Abigail, and Laurel. Hello. I work at the Don Edwards San Francisco Bay National Wildlife Refuge in El Viso, California. The refuge protects wetland habitats around the edge of the San Francisco Bay. We protect many plants and animals, but today we are going to learn about one of our smallest inhabitants, the salt marsh harvest mouse. Salty, as we have nicknamed the mouse, is about the size of your thumb. The mouse is specially adapted to drink salt water and builds its nests in pickleweed that grows along the edge of the San Francisco Bay. Salty is nocturnal and normally only comes out at night. Salty is also listed by the government as an endangered species. Elizabeth, do you know what it means if a species is endangered? Endangered means there are not many left. That's right, there are not many mice left. But all of that is changing as we continue to protect Salty's habitat and create more habitat for Salty to thrive. Elizabeth, what is a habitat? A home for a plant or animal. In our story today, we are going to follow Salty as she looks for her perfect habitat, her perfect home. She will have some misadventures and meet a lot of interesting animals. Are you ready to read our story? Yes. Okay, let's get started with our book. A home for Salty. Near a large ocean in a bay called San Francisco, Salty, the salt marsh harvest mouse, searched for somewhere to live. Salty wanted to find a place not too wet, with plenty of places to hide and sleep, and of course, plenty to eat. Salty wanted to find a place just right. Salty was searching for a habitat. habitat. Salty was looking for a home. She came to the edge of land where there was only water as far as she could see. This place was too wet. She didn't see any place to hide and her belly was at her sleep and her belly was empty. As she rested, a dark head with blinking eyes popped out of the water beside her. Salty ran away from the harbor seal. Open bay water was not the right place for her. Salty wanted to find a place just right. Salty was searching for a habitat. Salty was looking for a home. Salty scampered along the land, but was stopped by a long winding stream of water. This water looked like a river, but she took a drink and the water tasted salty. Salty went for a swim to find something to eat. A tall bird landed next to her and Salty hurried back to shore to hide. This place was too wet and there was no food. The slough was not the right place for her. Salty wanted to find a place just right. Salty was searching for a habitat. Salty was looking for a home. The snowy egret flew away and Salty came out of her hiding place. The tide went out, leaving mud in the bottom of the slough. A sandpiper landed and began to pull a snail out of the mud. Salty was hungry. She tried to do the same. She quickly discovered salt marsh harvest mice don't eat snails. This place was too muddy and there was nothing to eat. The mud flat was not the right place for her. Salty wanted to find a place just right. Salty was searching for a habitat. Salty was looking for a home. A shadow passed near. Out of the blue, Salty was snatched up cut in the claws of a white-tailed kite. Above the top of the mud, they flew up and up, then over the hill. Salty was terribly frightened. Suddenly, a peregrine falcon appeared. Salty felt a great bump, and she fell into soft green grass. Looking around for food, she saw a jackrabbit nibbling on the leaves of a plant with the beautiful orange flowers. Salty quickly discovered salt marsh harvest mice don't eat California poppies. She looked around for a place to sleep as a gopher snake slithered up beside her. He looked as hungry as she felt. 
Salty ran down the hill. This place had no food and nowhere to hide. The upland was not the right place for her. Salty wanted to find a place just right. Salty was searching for a... Habitat. Salty was looking for a... Home. A pair of canvas bag ducks flew overhead. Salty followed. Green grass soon gave way to a place filled with a red and green marsh plant. That plant was pickleweed. Salty quickly discovered salt marsh harvest monks loved to eat pickleweed. This place was not too wet, and there was plenty to eat. A shadow fell over Salty, and a California Ridgeway's rail stepped out of the pickleweed. Salty ran further into the pickleweed marsh. This place had plenty of places to hide. Salty ate until she was content. Then she built a nest, lying down for a well-earned nap. This place has plenty of places to sleep. Finally, Salty the salt marsh harvest mouse had found a place just right. Salty had found a habitat. Salty had at last found her home. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story. Elizabeth, Abigail, Laurel, and I encourage you to learn more about Salty the salt marsh harvest mouse and all of the species that live along the edge of the bay, like seals, snakes, rabbits, peregrine falcons, sandpipers, and egrets. Girls, what are your favorite animals on the refuge? My favorite animal on the refuge is are the jackrabbits because um, they're so cute and we have a rabbit that looks similar to, the, to it. My favorite animal at the refuge is the gray fox because they look really cool. My favorite animal at the refuge is salty. All right, and my favorite animal are the harbor seals because I think they're so cool. Please visit our website so you can learn more about the Don Edwards San Francisco Bay National Wildlife Refuge in the South Bay and San Pablo Bay National Wildlife Refuge in the North Bay.